So Prime Investor, this is my second fintech startup. My first fintech startup 13, 14 years back was Funds India. And in both Funds India and in Prime Investor, I made the same mistake. Okay. So people say that, you know, once you make a mistake, you learn. I did not learn. I made the same mistake in Prime Investor. So in my answer right now, what I'm going to tell you is what that mistake was and how you can go about avoiding that mistake when you when you are uh, gathering feedback from your customers and trying to implement that. Okay, let me uh, talk about it from Prime Investor's perspective because that, that is more uh, current, but this also applies to my earlier uh, company. So uh, Prime Investor is a B2C retail investor research solutions provider. What I mean by that is we provide, a, that's a very long uh, way of saying a very simple thing. We provide guidance for personal finance to retail investors. We tell you what the best mutual funds in the market are, what the best stocks in the market are, what the best uh, insurance uh, products uh, in, the, in the market are, and we supplement it with a tremendous amount of content and a lot of tools that are there in our uh, uh, platform to help you make good, confident, personal finance decision, especially when it comes to investments. That is our motto and that is our mission, right? So when we started off, we had a sound hypothesis that, you know, people want to make investments for themselves and their family's future, and they want to do it in a confident manner and in a cost-saving manner. So we had a team of experts with decades of experience in personal finance and making personal finance recommendations and doing personal finance research. So we were able to put together an initial product. I wouldn't say easily, but with quite a bit of thought and uh, care, you know, we, we listed the best mutual funds. There are 1,500 mutual funds in the, cover, in the country. We listed the top 40 or 50 across different categories. We made it very easy for them to pick. We created ready to use portfolios that they can just pick and choose and go implement it in wherever they are uh, investing. Uh, we created, uh, you know, uh, the best uh, fixed deposit products and told them, you know, even if you don't want to go with mutual funds and uh, share market, uh, uh, you know, investing, you can go with these good fixed deposit products. So we, we created a wonderful product. Our content was praised a lot for the quality that we, that we were producing. And the feedback started coming. People wanted um, us to broaden the range of our recommendations. People wanted to say that, you know, people wanted like, you know, tell me also what the best insurance policies are. Tell me also what the best stocks are, right? Stock market investing. So we started working on that and that was good. Okay. However, like I said earlier, the mistake was the early adopters of a, of, a, of a product such as ours always happen to be a very advanced level of customer, advanced level in terms of their knowledge and their experience. They are the ones who are always on the lookout for products like Prime Investor. And obviously feedback from such people will be oriented towards an advanced level of customer, an advanced customer, right? Who is very knowledgeable about investing, who is very knowledgeable about the what, what to do and what not to do and how they make decisions and all that stuff. As an entrepreneur, as a product manager, what we have to do is we have to not lose focus on the eventual target market that we are trying to go after. It is very easy to be swayed by the initial uh, feedback and reactions from the early adopters of your product. And those feed that feedback is almost uh, always not in keeping with the broad market that you are trying to analyze. Specifically in Prime Investor, after we launched our Prime stocks, people wanted to understand more and more about the universe of stocks that are there. We launched a product, and I'll tell you, I mean, this is, I'm being very candid here. We launched a product called 
stock rankings it was a very hard to develop project okay we had even today it's 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 a live product in our platform because there are number of people that are using it but not probably a small fraction of our uh, uh, customers are using it but still a fraction is using it it requires analyzing 500 stocks on a daily basis across various parameters and creating a very complicated interface that will rank the stocks along multiple dimensions like quality and performance and growth and all, all that stuff value and all that stuff right and this was a very difficult product and we'll when we launched that product crickets nothing happened right this was based on the feedback of like a few users and those few users really found value in the product and that was that that product did not scale because when we vetted feedback we did not do the job correctly of verifying whether this is a broad market product or not that is very important you have to identify feedback and suggestions that go after your target market that your business is going after right you cannot take everything that sounds doable and interesting for yourself and go ahead and implement it so how are we addressing it today we have learned that lesson okay and in uh, we are recording this in like the third week of july or something like that in a couple of uh, uh, weeks or uh, you know in the early uh, in early august we are going to be launching a product that is absolutely useful for the a mass audience in the sense that you any simple mutual fund investor can just put in their pan number and mobile id and get a complete review of their mutual fund portfolio live from uh, from the mutual fund companies and with with prime investors opinion which is what they value they want to know what their investments are and how prime in what prime investor thinks about those investments we have created that product which is very easy to understand and hopefully will be a, a good hit in the market our early indications are people really like it but we'll see how the mass market uh, adopts it so the lesson here is that taking customer feedback obviously is a very very important thing to do and without customer feedback a product manager or an entrepreneur uh, cannot do anything cannot grow their product in the right direction but even while taking customer feedback you have to be choosy and you have to be careful that you are not taking customer feedback from a small segment of customers and a requirement that does not scale very broadly to the eventual target market that you are uh, addressing uh, or trying to address the problem becomes then the problem becomes you will be a niche product and it will be difficult to scale your overall platform so that is the thing take customer feedback but be very careful in choosing which customer feedback to actually implement and whether it is in alignment with your overall uh, market uh, ambitions and your product direction